Thanks, Jeanette. Thanks for the introduction. And thanks for everyone taking time today to come, obviously, view everyone's introductions or whatever they're going to be showing you guys. I've, I've got a very watered down presentation that I need to show you guys, although it will be jam-packed with quite a bit of information. Um, again, at the end of this, uh, you guys are welcome to go and visit our website and actually read a little bit more into what might seem a little bit complicated at first, but um, I promise you it's not really that bad. Um, I will just be going through my slides here very quickly. Uh, yet again, my name is Richard Krugel. Now I'm the Head Technical Analyst at Price Action Income and the creator of the EPS strategy or the Exponential Profit System, which is a strategy I've developed over quite a few years and something that myself and my members trade on a daily basis. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Um, so basically what I'll show you guys is how to, or a way that you can rapidly accelerate account growth without living in front of your charts, which I think is quite an important thing. And a lot of people obviously have full-time jobs, um, they can't be sitting in front of their screens all day long, and without taking on serious risk to your equity. Um, I'll be showing you all of this a little bit later on. And yet again, thanks for attending. And this is what I'm going to be showing you guys today, is how to leverage the predictable aspects of price action using market geometry. I'll be telling you a little bit more and showing quite a few examples of what market geometry is and how I use it, and how you can find accurate setups without wasting hours of your day in front of your computer or mobile device. Everything's basically made up of how you can compound your account properly and without risking more than 2%. Um, last year we had a stellar year with from, from even myself and, and my members where we grew an account quadrupling it in nearly eight months time and just I'll be showing you some of the examples and running through a, a few um, setups to show you exactly how I've done that. Um, now this first few slides we're just going to be showing you basically these the forecasts that I've done was done ahead of time, and these are just one of or a few examples of the better ones that I've had last year. Obviously, I always lose, um, not always lose, sometimes lose as well, which is pretty normal. Uh, but my whole system is set up in a way that I actually want to risk as little as possible and let my profits run. And examples that follow a little bit later when we actually look at the whole system and how it performs, I'll be showing how it's possible to really risk very little of your account and aim for quite large targets. Um, for example, crude oil, we had a huge move last year. We had 26% growth in my account in just single trade. Um, I do not just trade um, uh, um, uh, futures. I trade all sort of things. I do stocks, forex, commodities, anything that you can really think of. We've got a quite a wide uh, membership base trading different things. So I also do provide everyone with enough setups that everyone can be happy trading with. This was the absolutely best one we had last year. It was on a US dollar Canadian currency pay. Forex Bay, um, an extremely tight stop of about 12 ticks, I think it was, and where we netted in the region of 542 pips using only a 12 tick stop. Um, and yet again, in, in this example, I actually managed to grow my account 61% in one actual trade. Um, just a few other examples just to show that we do cover even stocks. We've got the T-bonds over here. We've traded Facebook, Copper, so many things that we did last year with exceptional growth on account by using the similar setup or the actual system that I'm going to be showing you next. Uh, like I said before, last year we actually managed to grow a count, quadruple account in about eight months. Um, it was uh, quite extensive membership base and a lot of people were able to follow it um, along and also showed some decent profits. Um, a lot of people actually laugh when I show them an equity graph like this but um, that being said with my system it is pos possible to do this. We have an average win rate of 8.15% and a 4 to 1 return on investment ratio. So 
the results for a lot of people has been astonishing to witness <laughs> even for myself the last year was really really big year uh, i have to be honest uh, january we struggled a little bit i think a lot of people actually struggled in january this year um the market's been quite difficult so we we have experienced a small drawdown which is a healthy thing to go through as a trader um i just want to show you that i i'm not just an overnight flash in the pan um there's a beautiful picture of myself sitting by my desk um and basically i've started like many people do open a trading account i first started trading forex didn't have much money thought i was just going to be trading for a few years and retire and as we all know that is not the reality of thing, things and I, the 50, first 50 dollars i put in my account went very fast um and i threw a lot of money into trading in the beginning i lost so much and obviously a lot of people didn't come to the realize, realization that you, if you really want to trade, you need to educate yourself properly. Um, yeah, a lot of time went between actually opening that first account, and I was lucky enough to be introduced to a trading floor in Cape Town, close to where I live, and I landed a job on there, starting at a real junior level, and uh, basically trading, day trading equities, thousands of shares a day. Uh, it was it was an very fast-paced action job but um, after about a few years of paying commission all that sort of stuff desk fees i decided to go uh, on my own and live life on my own terms um i've discovered in any market regarding of varying models there is a science to how price moves well this is what i call it and what i believe and hopefully in the examples next we'll we'll show you how i exactly do that and this is what is called market geometry and for me personally, it has changed my life and the way I trade. The exponential profit system was developed to maintain steady and dependable profits and free myself, in the case, can do the same for you, of the shackles of staring and charts all day long. And if you most folks, uh, we do not have that kind of time to burn. You're going to want to see what I have to show you next. So please don't worry about tracking two extensive notes. We'll have these slides available at the end of this presentation. All right, without um, wasting any more of your time with my introduction, let's jump straight into my exponential profit system and what it is I actually look for on a daily basis. What I'm basically doing in a nutshell is that I want to identify the direction of an existing trend or have some sort of warning as to when a possible new trend might begin or one might end. Uh, I then want to determine levels where a correction may occur in advance and before price reaches those levels. Once price then reaches those levels and I do get a correction, and there's obviously ways that I look for this, you're also using multiple time frames, I then want to identify the type of correction that I might be seeing on the chart and then use market geometry techniques to identify an area or a zone where I believe such correction could possibly end again all of this done ahead of time um, then when price actually reaches an area of market geometry i want to follow a set of entry conditions to confirm that the conditions are ready to enter a trade and once everything has fallen into place i will actually try enter a position and like many people say the trend's your friend i want to be trading in the direction of what i would assume is the trend and then manage the trade as well, very importantly. So just for uh, point number one is how to identify the direction of the trend. Most people will obviously know these things. It's always good to go through it a little bit again, just so you can see how everything falls in place with my strategy. Um, what I like to do is firstly pull up my four-hour chart. I don't want to identify what the trend is, and like many people, like I said, should know an uptrend is created by higher highs and higher lows and downtrends low lows low highs and i use trend lines to define the trends and when i also use horizontal lines as you'll see in the next structure which i call previous market structure this is just an example on australian dollar us dollar uh, on a 240 minute or four hour chart and very simple, as we all know, an uptrend uh, is made by higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows. And same with the downtrend, lower lows, lower highs, and it stays steps up or down. And just using simple trend lines, 
in the uptrend on the bottom side of the trend and in the downtrend you'll use a trend line on the top side of the trend. Now we're going to be showing you, what I basically look for is when the trend does change it actually would start breaking a trend line very simply and then when you see these horizontal rise previous market structure then gets broken on the right hand side of the screen I would then consider taking short. So I'm more than happy to go either long or short in any market uh, by just looking at what direction the trend might be going in. So next, um, <clears throat> excuse me guys, my throat's quite dry at the moment. Um, next thing I want to do is I want to determine where a correction might appear. Again, using my four hour chart. And very simply in this case, a lot of people are familiar with Fibonacci extensions. I use the 100%, 1.382, 1.618, 1.786, and the 200% Fibonacci extension ratios, and I color them all different colors. And as you can see in a previous example, focusing on this quite large move downwards that lasted, I don't know, it was for more than a year, price broken upward, sloping trend line, and previous market structure and once that started happening I would not my my goal would be to find the end of corrections and trade with the trend as the trend goes down now obviously I first want to see where a correction might appear so I would just simply apply um, my Fibonacci extensions by taking that upper high lower low and the first lower high and extend the Fibonacci ratios lower and then simply wait for price to reach one of these levels and one of, when one of these levels are reached, I said a few things I look at my 4 hour chart to determine if a correction might appear, as you probably know a lot of retail traders um, I mean even professional traders use Fibonacci levels so this is why this tool is so great to act as, as, let's say, a precursor or that something might have be happening at one of those levels. In a lot of cases, you'll get corrections at these uh, Fibonacci extensions. Uh, in this case, you could see I've had one at 1.382. It went down a little bit, didn't make it to 1.618, and we had a much larger one. We traded actually quite a few of these uh, corrections. Price then reached the 1.786, and we had a more longer-term one. I do really like it when we have long-term corrections because the move that's actually uh, come out of it when those corrections end are quite large, which allows uh, myself and my members to actually shoot for quite large profit targets. All right, and then basically once I do get a correction in my four-hour chart, I would then switch to a 30-minute chart. Sometimes I'll use a 20-minute chart, maybe even bigger, depending on the time period of how long a correction has been running for. And I, there are four main corrections and variations of them that I do follow. Um, the single zigzag, double zigzag, expanded flat corrections, and triangle corrections. The two variations of that's the symmetrical triangles and the ascending or descending triangles. Um, just for the purpose of today, I'll just be showing you one simple one. That's what a lot of people just call a simple ABC. doesn't really matter what you actually want to call it. Um, I don't really have too much time to be going into all the other ones as well, but as we all should know, a lot of people do know that a ABC correction is just a correction that goes opposite in this case. The trend was coming downwards on the left hand side of the screen, price shot up higher, price then came down, it did not break the low of where this correction started from and then went up higher again. Um, there are a lot of people that break their necks about like figuring out how to count waves properly and all that sort of corrections and when, you, when we get to the next slides I'll actually be showing you when I actually use market geometry over corrections but if I have some sort of idea what might be unfolding by studying what corrections actually look like it makes my life so much more easier to then apply my market geometry techniques over price action to determine levels where corrections might end. So then again, I'm just going to show you one example of a correction. And then um, what I would normally then do is apply my market geometry techniques again on a 30-minute chart. Um, just to quickly recap, or those that does not know what market geometry is, there is an underlying symmetry in price behavior and finding ways to measure or define the symmetry using drawing tools is what's called market geometry. 
One such drawing tool is called the Alan Andrews Pitchfork, uh, or just short the Pitchforks. Uh, a lot of people or a lot of traders out there would probably know this. Um, or it's gathering dust in the back corners of your trading platform. It's something I use extensively. And when they are used correctly, they are great at defining future price movement, both in the most likely direction a market may take and where price is most likely to find support and resistance in the future. Now, this last little blurb here is very important to me and one I want you guys to take away, even if you take a very small thing away today from maybe if you learned something from me, is that pitchforks are particularly useful when you apply them to corrections and know how to apply them properly. So, just give you quick examples of what pitchforks are and how they are named. We have what we call the standard pitchfork. Uh, most platforms, when you do open or any platform that's worth its salt, should at least have a pitchfork in it. Um, and in there, you'll normally automate, be able to automatically change between different settings. Uh, the first one is just the standard pitchfork, which was developed by Dr. Alan Andrews. And the way you do it, let's say, for example, you think this trend was going downwards, and you want to start seeing how you could define price using your pitchfork, you would, you would, you, you would need to connect your, or anchor your pitchfork to, very, to three important pivot areas or, or turns in the market. Um, in this case, just as an example, using an upper high would be point number one to connect it, our next connection would be a low when we had this correction. And why I use these pivots instead of the ones up here is also what I teach in my courses. There are very particular pivots and stuff that I look for and why I actually use those pivots rather than other ones. So when you actually use this first point over here, sorry, I'm switching to the plug. Okay. This up point here or the higher high, then we have a lower low and a lower high. And what will happen is that we a line would be projected at, at an angle, in this case downwards, and that is what is called a median line or set to center median line. The same lines, just called the upper median line or lower median line, would be projected at the same angles, but this case from the actual pivots that you selected secondly and thirdly. Then I go a step further and I... Um, also add or project onto the pitchfork two red levels on the upper and lower side, which I call warning lines. And these warning lines are equidistant from your median line to your upper or your lower as well. And in this case, beautiful, beautiful example of how this move or temporarily ended when price reached the lower median line for the first time. Standard pitchfork, just an example. Um, I actually use what I'm going to show you next the shift pitchfork setting. I probably use this about 98% of the time in, in my own analysis and analysis I do from, for my members. And basically all it does is it's similar to the standard pitchfork, but rather than being very steep angled upwards, in this case, using these pivots, that one, that one, and that one, it is angled at a flatter angle. So, and how that is achieved is that rather than having your median line starting from this lower pivot, the first one that you choose, chose, and, and letting it slope to at a very strong angle upwards, it just basically pivots 50% of the range from this low to that high there. And again, most platforms does this automatically, so it shouldn't be really an issue to just choose the right pivots that you're looking at and then just change the setting within your indicator or or the drawing tools that your, your platform offers you. And this is a beautiful example of just an ABC move or a single zag zigzag upwards. And using shift pitchforks, you'll see to a very high degree that a lot of your corrections would end at either the upper median line in this case now or the lower median line in, in, a, in, an, in a reverse scenario or the upper red warning lines. This is a very quick example of market geometry. Uh, I do employ channel lines, all those sort of things um, as well, but um, it's some, one of the biggest tools that I use on a daily basis. Then when it comes to entry, I 
would use a five minute chart and I use a five minute chart because I want to be spotting a very special set of entry conditions to pop up when price has actually reached an area or zone that I identified before and then when price interacts with a median line or a channel line I want to I want to spot these conditions or they must appear at those lines before I will take a trade so the strategy actually allows you to plan beforehand, then have the patience to wait for it, and only enter trades when all of your conditions pop up. And the conditions I'm looking for is reversal candlestick patterns. Um, there are five major ones that I look for. I'm just basically going to show you a setup um, on the following slides. Um, without delving too deep into reversal candlestick patterns. And then the only indicator that I employ is momentum divergence, where I look at uh, MACD. And these conditions, like I said before, must appear at an area of market geometry that has been identified beforehand. All right, here's a good example of what momentum divergence is uh, using my MACD histogram. Uh, you'll see that rather than using a percent K and percent D lines that normally comes with a MACD, I remove them and I only look at the histogram bars. Um, for those that does not know what momentum divergence is, it's just a quick example. I'll also show you this quick example of what a reversal candlestick looks like. Uh, in this case, price was moving downwards, and as price was coming downwards, the momentum of which price was coming downwards start diverting or going to the opposite direction or weakening as they call it and doing opposite as what price action was doing so now this is just an example of what divergence is or momentum divergence is and if let's say i had a i had a median line where the price interacts and i have momentum divergence and again on my five minute chart I see some sort of reversal candlestick pattern appear, I would then take a trade and enter. This is a fantastic example, um, just to run through the entire strategy from beginning to end. Um, it's something that my members see in real time. Um, and the biggest trade we did last year, we, were, we had one enormous huge move and only used about a 12 tick stop on it. Um, you know, it's quite simple to analyze this, um, and this is just going through the whole setup that I showed you before. We had the price moving downwards. It then broke up and above a previous downward sloping trend line. It also started breaking previous areas of, of um, market structure, market structure, and then using my Fibonacci extensions, when price reached the first 100% level, I got a quite a large correction that appeared on my four hour chart. Um, this is just a visual look of what happened, connecting very specific pivots and knowing how to use the right pivots is crucial in my work. And price, when it touched the low red warning line uh, for the first time, yep, gone, it was end of the correction and price shot upwards. This is a zoomed in view of actually one of the forecast new newsletters that I did for, for my for my members and just to show you that I've actually had this pitchfork waiting and ready and identified a zone from where I would well like to see my entry conditions pop up before it actually happened. It wasn't long straight afterwards, price touched down and this is such a picture book picture-perfect uh, uh, setup that uh, I still can't believe it myself. Uh, obviously, price doesn't always play along. Um, but from what I can see, the price touched the low red warning line within that zone. Obviously, now we're looking at a five-minute chart again. We had a reversal candlestick formation, one of the other ones that I'm looking at. And in the bottom, we have momentum drying up. And that was a high class, high probability entry in my book. And I was able to take an entry with a stop loss of only 12 ticks and the uh, rest was history. In this case, I went for three targets. Um, quite often I'll just do two, um, but 
as you can see, I'm now actually using the reverse side of a pitchfork and I also use my pitchforks to manage open trades because I found over the long run that if you trail your stops too tight, you get stopped out all the time. You don't give the market enough time to breathe. And one way to actually trade and manage your open trades is to also use pitchforks. So just to give you a quick visual look of the actual tightness of how what that stop was the original entry was here in the bottom we have a very small tight stop and we basically averaged ourselves out of this position for a total move of 542 ticks which was an astonishing move to say the least okay so now the power to forecast the markets um, yet again I'll just show you uh, very few or some small examples of, 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 of what the trades we actually took in the, in the members area. And now I want to show you a shortcut to getting these high probability setups starting today. As you can all see, we basically are going to offer you guys an exclusive opportunity today with crazy discounts and only for the ones that's attended today. And I'll be giving this away, basically my life's work, something that I've been working on myself with a lot of sweat and tears over many years. And basically what I do for my members is that uh, five times a week I publish an in-depth forecast of my exact trading plans, what the market is doing, how I want to trade it, and why. what my entry stop loss and, and target ranges are. Yet again, I also do this on a multitude of different markets so that most of the members can follow along. And basically, all you have to do is follow along. Um, I say this not very likely. Um, I do have a lot of members that ask me questions all the time, uh, which, is, which is great. Uh, we have a fantastic support team. But what I found over the, uh, over the years is that although I write the reports, people can actually trade and learn while they're doing it, which is a fantastic advantage to have. So I don't just share a setup unless I trade it myself. I trade all of these things myself. And it only takes about 15 minutes a day for you to follow along. And that doesn't mean it's just for lazy traders. You have to make sure that you're committed to getting these results or save yourself the trouble. Just a quick view of what our dashboard looks like. Um, this is mine actually. Um, we've got two main products there. We got the exponential profit system trade forecasting service, like I said, which gives five days a week forecasting and updates. And then we also have an exponential profit system course, which in very great detail and in a very well set up way can take a student through the entire course in a very structured way. Um, then this is, for example, what one of my updates reports would look like. And basically, I'll be covering all the trades that are either open, uh, ones that are closed, when the stop loss hits, and how do I actually trail my stops, where are my targets, what am I looking for, what could be dangerous for the week lying ahead, etc., etc. So you get everything in a well-presented and quite detailed um, report in your inbox delivered every single day. Then we also have a management recap where I go through all the final sort of, uh, you know, exactly so you can at a glance just go and see where's my entry, where's my stop loss, where are my targets, and whenever I do actually update um, my trailing stops, etc., etc., it will also appear at the bottom of the report. Then something that we've been working on for the entire year, and this was actually born out of the idea that um, a lot of people couldn't sit in front of their screens to actually wait for entry conditions to appear. Um, so I've been working on with a, a very good developer on creating alerts using the Telegram channel where members just sign up pretty easily to our Telegram channel called Price Action Income Alerts. And when I do my analysis, before price reaches an area or zone that I want to trade from, I'll be setting two alerts 
The first one will be a warning alert that alerts the member saying to them, like for example, warning alert, crude oil approaching your cell level. Okay, that'll be the first one. So rather than being stuck in front of your computer the whole day long, you can get this on your cell phone, for example, you will say, right, okay, cool. Let's open the screen, or I should be getting ready to enter. And then using um, momentum divergence indicators that we would have be programmed, once price actually reaches an area of market geometry, and we do get a confirmation of momentum divergence at that area that I want to be trading from, you'll get a second alert and this all happens within a matter of seconds when it's sent from my, my, my actual trading platform and it's delivered into the price action income alert telegram channel and all members that are subscribed here will then get within a few seconds after I got the alert, they'll be actually alerted that they can now enter. And this has made a huge difference to keep us out of bad trades, trades that didn't have all the conditions set up, rather than just playing, placing limit orders at, it, at levels and so forth. So this has actually got us into some very sweet trades this year. It's something I'm very proud to have rolled out. Um, it might sound very simple, but a lot of work that went into this. And uh, it's something I'm sure you guys will also be able to benefit from. And there we go, guys. Um, we also have a very cool membership-only discussion board. Um, I have a great team behind me that um, looks at and answers support emails. Uh, a lot of times, like you can see myself, I do go into depth where people send me um, charts to, 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 to look at and what, if they're making any sort of mistakes according to my strategy, and I'll just help them out. And I, I really do spend a lot of time helping people out to understand what it is I do and how the exponential profit system works. And, um, yeah, the best part of my forecast is the ability to scale. It's basically how I started trading for a living, and I want to share that success with you guys today. So, again, just to go over what we offer, we have five weekly trade forecast reports and additional alerts, all of my analysis and trade setups. Timely updates and management of open trades, notes on current events to keep you informed and prepared, and most importantly, each report will consist of my personal trade forecast, stuff that I actually trade myself, and covering my exact trading plans and how I analyze and how I came up with my own ideas. And then Let's get for this presentation started. Chris, uh, webinar only for your guys Jean. that's listening and liking what Learning you see today. Uh, we'll give you lifetime access to your life um, We can get the complete methodology, detailed lesson plans and charts, bonus training modules and videos, progress reports and chapter quizzes, recaps of my actual trades, dedicated support forum, and all future updates and trading sessions. The value I want to show you guys today is that for one year of forecast, which we normally run for $5,964, the complete EPS course, which we don't always throw in there, but we will be offering this today. We normally sell at 297 US for a total cost of $6,261. But for everyone attending today, we're only running this special for a week. I'll give one year of forecast for 997 US. We also get the complete EPS course for absolutely nothing and a total cost of $997 for today only. So just to run over that again, that's almost a saving of $5,264 US dollars or 84% saving of our normal costs. So if you want a solution that delivers real results and you want to take advantage of accelerated growth, you desire to learn from a real trader like I am, not just a marketing guru, you want to trade intermediate, intermediate tree market opportunities in any and every market and you want to live life on your own terms without living in front of your screens starting now. We've got savings of 84%, guys, and it's only going to be on for a week. And that's a huge discount if you really think about all the value that you get. I do most of the work for you, and every day when you guys wake up on your side, or wherever you are in the world, you'll have everything ready, all the technical analysis, and a great support team backing you all in your inbox every single morning. 
And basically that concludes my presentation for today. Um, you see the link in the bottom here. We've got the actual link that you can go to. There's a, there's a lot of uh, details on the websites that uh, goes a bit more into depth of what I've showed you guys today. And then these exact slides that I've showed you today, if you want to start scrutinizing them or maybe go draw those sort of similar sort of setups on, on your own charts, then please feel free to download us, our slides at the same link. And yeah, I just want to say thanks for everyone for, for listening. I do actually notice I'm a little bit ahead of time here, but um, let me just get back to Jeanette over there. If are you, are are you able to see the um, questions, Richard? Yeah, I've actually wanted to do that. Is there a few questions on your side? Yeah, let me look see back. Guys, you can go over to the chat box and, and put some questions in if you have questions for Richard this morning. Let me look here. Yeah, there is a question section there. I just click on there. All yeah, right, guys, um, so if there are any questions, then please, please do that. The first question I see is how many alerts per week? Hi, James. Good question. Um, on average, we probably would take, I would say, between four to six trades a month. Um, so, like, you have to understand, we're not day trading here. Uh, I'm pretty much taking large swing trades in the markets, especially when I look at my four-hour chart and then and drill down into lower time frames. Um, these alerts basically are just set, sent out when actual trade setups matches all of the entry conditions that I'm looking for. So, I hope you, I hope that answers your 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 question, but. Um, we actually cover two new trade ideas every single week. And you have to understand that if some of them do not meet my conditions, I'll just throw them away. Cancel them, go on to the next one. <laughs> so we're looking at around about eight new tradable ideas every single month. And then I also, in my uh, forecasts and so forth, update the ones that are open, the one that didn't meet my criteria anymore. I didn't get all the um, con uh, trade confirmations that I wanted, and I'll just move on to the next one. Because for me, I'm, I'm, I'm very stringent on risk management. I will plan a trade, and when things work out exactly the way I planned it, I will take the trade only then. So for some people, it might not be a great thing to, you know, uh, <laughs> be waiting sometimes for only a few setups a week, but uh, I can guarantee you we're aiming for quite large profits with very small risk. So I hope that um, answered your question. Do we have another one? Okay, yeah. The next question is how many, um, you might have just answered this because I had to put my headset down for a second. How many open trades do you normally have? Um, at the moment, we all, actually last week we had four open trades. Uh, we only have one at the moment and we're waiting for three to set up. Okay. And like I said, uh, for every single one of them, uh, every day I'll be updating the ones that are open, the ones that reach targets, some of that might have been stopped out, mm -hmm. et cetera, et cetera. And how to try and stop and manage open trades, which is a very big, important part of my analysis. All right. Can you, um, Richard, can you go to that link? Can you go to priceactionandincome.com slash forecast to show several people are saying they're having trouble with the link? So I want to make sure we, I'm going to see on my side, price action and income, com slash forecast. Check it for errors. Oh, I got it. It says first visit, get slides and replay access. Looks like it's working for me. Yeah, I'm in it as well. Um, I see it. Okay, it's working for me. Yeah. Okay. Maybe just guys try to reload your browsers or make sure. Bit in the chat box. Let's we'll see. Awesome. All right. Um, someone's saying, uh, James is saying, so you average four to six trades per month? Correct. Um, okay. Also, I have to uh, say that uh, this is, uh, for some people, they want a lot of action. This is not, it's not about that. For me, it's like I want to take large trades. I want to manage it as good as I can and really squeeze out as much profit I, as I can with very low risk. 
and in some of instances we can stay in the trade for for anyway from a day which doesn't happen that often to sometimes uh, that US dollar Canadian trade I showed you for example we're almost in there for a month so um, you know it's it's something you do need re to require patience for because the time frames that we're looking at and I'm looking at we actually aiming for quite large trades and for these things to 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 uh, work out properly it normally takes quite a long time in some people's whatever they would view a long time might be so it's perfectly for someone that you know doesn't have t too much time to trade all the time but yet has money to that they want to invest into the markets with their own accounts um he's also asking that um he saw one of your slides said 81 trades he wasn't sure over what time frame that was that was last year last year okay yeah yeah all right, let me make sure we don't have anything else here. No, sorry, it was last year from Jan to August. Yeah, 81 trades. All right. Well, I've put your link in the chat box for everyone, and if there are no more questions, I can um, release you, Richard, and our, our next guest is here, and he's welcome to go early if you're okay with that. Perfect. I'm 100% done. Um, Really thank everyone for attending. Um, yeah, please go check out the links. And if there's any more questions that you want to guys want to ask, uh, go do that on our website. And yeah, just uh, enjoy the rest of your your weekends. And, and thanks, thanks for having me on board.